Right guys, so let's talk about how we convert these measurements from our floor plan that we made in Rumel and turn it into a fraction that we can use on our model house. So in Rumel here, what we have are feet and inches, okay? And you can see these numbers here that are written on our blueprint. They're all in feet and inches. So the first one, it says, for the example, it says six, and then FT for feet, and then this one is a four, and then an IN for inches, okay? Six feet, four inches. So if this was a real wall on a real house, this would be six foot, four inches, and I can see from point to point there that that's where that wall would be. I don't know if you can make it out. This one would be six foot, three inches from here to here, okay? Now the problem is when we lay this out on our model house, we're not dealing with feet and inches, we're dealing with just inches. Okay, so we need to figure out what the whole inch would be and then the fraction afterwards. Okay, now by no means what I'm going to show you today is 100% accurate and there's a few variations on how you might want to go about doing this. All this is designed for is to just give you a little idea on how you can transfer these measurements onto your plywood that you're going to start working with. Okay, so before we get started, this is a rumor plan that I made a little while ago. Before we get started, we have to make sure that 100% of our measurements are accurate and they're visible. Okay, so prior to me doing this today, I realized that this wall here wasn't included, so I had to use that little measurement tool in Rumel to measure the distance from here over to this corner. I also did this one as well. Okay, but if I looked around all of my walls, I could see a measurement that was located everywhere. Okay, and that's what we want. We want measurements on all of our walls. We don't want to have to guess anything here. Okay, so for this activity today, um, oh, you can see here I forgot to do these measurements, didn't I? So this would be a problem when I was if I was to measure out on my plywood because I don't know what measurement that is. Okay, so that's a prime example of why you've got to make sure this is right before you go doing what we're going to do today. Okay, so this one I've missed it out. But what we're going to work on today is I'm going to show you how to convert these measurements on this whole front section of this blueprint. Okay, doesn't matter what end you start at, but we're going to figure out the measurements for this. I'm not going to add these up. I'm just going to tell you wall by wall what these measurements would be. Okay, and we're going to start off with this one right here. So this is six foot one inches. Okay, six foot one inches. Now to do this, let me move this out of the way. To do this, what I will include into your Google Classroom is this chart right here. Again, by no means is this exact down to the, the nearest fraction. It's just a ballpark number. You might have to adjust a couple of things to make walls square and even. That is completely fine, guys. Okay, This is just to kind of get you started and get things going. So that number we had was 6 foot 1 inches. So remember when we do this, the foot number, this is how we do this. You see the foot number is 6. That foot number is always going to stay. Okay, So the 6 is always going to stay. And I can make a little note underneath this. That six is always going to go, but in, always going to stay. But instead of feet, that's inches. Okay, so we're switching it over now. So it was six feet. This is actually going to be six inches now. Okay, what we need to convert is this one right here. Okay, and that's where my little chart comes into play. So this is set out at zero and it goes to one whole inch over here. Okay, zero to one. You can see the main increments are slightly larger. We've got a quarter of an inch, a half an inch, three quarters of an inch here. And again, I've missed out some of the fractions, but most of them are included here. Starts at a sixteenth, works all the way up to fifteen sixteenths right here. Okay, so remember on my measurements, it was six foot one inches. So let me just show you, six foot one inches. So we know the six is, we've converted that number, whatever it is in feet for that first one, it's in inches. So we know that six is six inches. Okay, so six is six inches. 
what we need to do is convert that one so we're going to go over to our chart and now we're going to look at this top row of numbers okay we have 1 1.5 2 3 4 all the way up to 11 over here now our wall was 6 foot 1 so that 1 is what we're going to look for here and we can see that 1 is right here so we're going to look down see what that fraction is and that's 1 16 so I'm going to go back to this so there's that one that we just looked at it was 1 16th and that's that fraction and that uh, measurement there for that wall okay it's not going to be perfect might be off a little bit but it's going to get you close enough to what we need so there's our conversion for this wall right here let's do another one so this one is five foot four inches remember the five always that first number always stays but instead of feet that's five inches we have four right here so let's go to our conversion chart we can see four is five sixteenths okay so that would be five inches and five sixteenths okay next one is one foot eight so remember the one i'm going to keep the one and the eight is going to be eleven sixteenths okay so that is one inch and eleven sixteenths okay and I, you can circle these if you, if you like if you do this guys um, next one six uh, six foot five so I'm going to keep the six again I'm going to look at my conversion chart you can see here five is seven sixteenths so five is seven sixteenths so that will be six and seven sixteenths and last one it's the exact same measurement here so it would be one and eleven sixteenths okay and there's our measurements for that front wall section so if I was laying this out in my model house I could start either end say I started right here I would measure over six and one sixteenths okay make a little mark then I'd measure over from there five and five sixteenths make a little mark then one and one sixteenths make a mark six and seven sixteenths make a mark and then one and one eleven sixteenths for that last one that looks like a zero and then that would be laid out against all our measurements for that first wall section if you were to add all of these up and compare it to what we just converted it's not going to be perfect but it'll get you kind of close now that what I just showed you is the bare minimum that you can do for this it's that's as that's as much as I'd like you to do if you'd like to go a little bit more advanced with this and this is completely optional now you can add in the wall thicknesses okay so we figured out the measurement from this arrow to this arrow over here now if you want a little bit more of a challenge maybe you want to make it just a little bit more precise and exact we can calculate the actual thickness for the wall okay if you remember back when we did the rumel the wall thickness was five and a half inches okay it's five and a half inches so if we look at our chart over here we can round that out to around seven sixteenths okay we can just go right down to here and we can call it seven sixteenths okay we we're just going to say seven sixteenths for this guy so if each one of these wall spaces if i was to draw like a little line here and here that would be seven sixteenths this one would be seven sixteenths this one here you can see this intersection here that would be seven sixteenths another one right here because this is this thickness this thickness here and there's one more over here you can't really see it because it's gone into that Okay. so you can see these little areas that I've marked that would be the wall thickness which we've calculated out at 7 sixteenths okay 7 sixteenths and if you can see that there guys where is it okay so if my wall thickness was five and a half that's 7 sixteenths of an inch so if you were to do this on your model house if you were laying it down on your plywood you could start off with 7 sixteenths then add in six and one sixteenths there's another seven sixteenths and so on and so on all the way down and that might get you a little bit more precise a little bit more accurate with your measurements there but that's essentially what you're going to start off with 
So before you even start working with your blueprint, um, your model house and all that material, the first thing to really do is look at your blueprint that you've been working on. Make sure you've incorporated all of those measurements that you can possibly see. See how here, make sure you, you include those measurements and then start converting them all onto your blueprint. I find this easier if you print your Rumal version off. So I printed mine on my paper here and that way I can actually make notes on my uh, plan. So I can actually make physical notes on my plan right here. Um, and don't forget guys, you can always add and change things as you go. This, what you did in Rumal was a guideline. It's just to get, kind of get you started and get you going with this. So you can edit this as you go. Maybe you're not happy with the way things are lining up. That's p completely fine. But the, but the goal here is to go around converting all of those measurements, even, even the inside measurements, do the inside measurements as well. Convert them all over to um, inches and fractions. Okay. If you have any questions on that, let me know. Um, you have access to your Rumal plan through your account. If you have a printer, I advise you to print this off. If not, um, you're just going to have to make a note of these wall measurements on a piece of paper. I will also leave a copy of this on your classroom as well. Okay, um, There'll be a digital copy. Again, if you want to just look at it on your screen, that's fine. If not, just print it off and away you go. Okay, Again, it's not perfect, but it gets you pretty close. If you have any questions on this, let me know. Remember, I'm available for the first 30 minutes of every class period through Google Meets on your, on your Google Classroom there. Um, I'd be happy to help you out. If not, just pause, rewind, rewatch this video again, and hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense the second time through. Take care, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you in the next video that I make. Bye.